This video covers arithmetic sequences and series, an important concept in IB Maths AI found in topic one, number and algebra. Now, arithmetic sequences and series is one of the two types of sequences that you'll encounter. You'll encounter either arithmetic or geometric. And the difference between the two is that arithmetic goes up by a common difference or up or down, sorry. So for example, this sequence of numbers here is going up by a common difference or addition of by seven. It can also be subtraction as well. Whereas geometric sequences go up by a common ratio or a multiplier, as you can see here, the multiplication of two. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on, focusing on this top uh, sequences of numbers, arithmetic sequences. Okay, so let's talk about this sequence here. I'll just write it out on the right-hand side. So we have negative six, one, eight, 15, 22, and let's assume that this sequence goes on. Now these numbers are going up by an addition of seven, so plus seven each time. And we call this addition the common difference. So in this sequence here, my common difference, which we call D, is equal to seven. Now, a, uh, a little bit more terminology, the, the term numbers we uh, identify with a letter U. So the first term, this negative six would be U1, the second term would be U2, the third term U3, and so on. Now let's look at another example of an arithmetic sequence. Let's say, let's go 10, eight, six, four, dot, 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 dot. So this is similar, but different in that the common difference is a negative number. So we're subtracting two every time, but still same idea, our common difference is negative two. And again, we would call this the first term, the second term, the third term, and so on and so on. Now in your formula booklet, you are given a, um, a number of formulas related to sequences and series. So you can see there are five here. The top two are related to arithmetic sequences. So we're going to talk about these two in this video. So the first one uh, is very useful to find a particular term in the sequence. So for example, I'll use this example here. I know the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth term, but what if I was to ask you, What's the 15th term, let's say? Now you could start adding seven each time, but that, that's quite time consuming and quite sort of mentally challenging after a while, particularly if I asked you say the thousandth term. So we need a quick way to find some sort of term in the future. So let's just walk through that now. Let's, let's say we wanted to find the 15th term. Well, the correct notation is U15. In other words, I'm finding the 15th term. And that will be equal to, let's have a look at this formula here. It's the first term, which we know as negative six, plus we have brackets n take one. Now n is the term number that we are looking for. In our case, we're looking for the 15th term. So it's going to be 15, subtract one, multiplied by our common difference. Now we identified earlier that the common difference is seven. Now we can use our calculator from here to find out what the 15th term is. So I bring up my calculator. I did this just before this video. I hit enter and I get a 15th term value of 92. So U15 is equal to 92. So if I was to keep uh, progressing these numbers up, negative six, one, eight, et cetera, et cetera, up to the 15th number, that number would be 92. Now the second formula, and there's actually two here, we'll talk about both, is to not find the term number, is to actually find the sum of a certain number of terms. And that's what a series is called. Find a series is summing up the terms in a sequence. So let's use this example again. And let's say I was to ask you to find the sum of the first 10 terms in this sequence. So if I was to add up negative six plus one, plus eight, plus 15, plus 22, find the first 10 terms and add them up. Well, if I was to do that by hand, that would take quite a long time because I'd firstly need to find the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th term, and then add them all up. But fortunately, we have a formula here. I'm going to use the left-hand one, and then I'll explain the right-hand one after we find out what the answer is. Okay, so the correct terminology, or sorry, notation, is the sum of the first 10 terms 
and that is equal to, let's have a look at the formula. It is n over two. Now we're looking to find the sum of the first 10 terms. So it's going to be 10 over two multiplied by two times the first term, which is negative six, plus, again, n is 10. We're looking to find the sum of the first 10 terms. Take one, multiply by the common difference, which we know is seven. And again, we can use our calculator to find the result of this. And I just entered that there and that is 255. So the sum of the first 10 terms, if I was to add them all up, would be 255. So we use the left-hand formula here to find the sum of the first 10 terms in this sequence. The right-hand formula, I don't use this all that much because it's pretty rare that you can use it. It comes up once every sort of five or 10 questions maybe. Now we can use this if we happen to know the final term. So in our case, in our sequence, we were finding the sum of the first 10 terms. If I did know the 10th term value, which I didn't, but if I did, I could use this formula, which is slightly easier to use. It would be 10 over two multiplied by the first term plus the 10th term. So that's, if you happen to um, come into that situation where you do know the, the, the final term in your sum, you can use the right hand uh, formula. So there we have it. They're the two types of questions that you'll encounter, either finding a term value, and you can use the first formula, or the sum of a certain number of terms, which is called a series. And that concludes our video on arithmetic sequences and series.